Hi, Gary Stearman coming to you from the studios of Prophecy Watchers with Bob Ulrich, and we've got a very special message. We're going to be talking about Watchers Weekend, and uh, you want to listen up, right, Bob? Absolutely. What is Watchers Weekend? You know, we've had an interesting conversation here this morning about prophecy conferences. Yes. You know, there's a lot of them out there these days, a lot of choices, a lot of cities all across the country. It was just a few years ago someone told me that the Prophecy Conference was dead. And yes. uh, Prophecy Conference is not dead. The interesting part of our conversation this morning revolves around one word, and that word is why. Why are we having a Prophecy Conference? Why should you come to a Prophecy Conference? Expound. You know, Bob, when we have Prophecy Conferences, and you know this as well as I do, the big question that everybody asks is, you know, I come from such and such a place and such and such a church, and I never hear any of this at my church. It's just not taught. And I'm, I'm here to learn, and, and I'm here to learn about things that I don't hear at church. And Bob, really, that's what we're doing. That is our calling. I think you've really nailed it. Not to criticize or in any way be critical of the church, because there, there are churches out there who teach prophecy. It's not an everyday message from the pulpit. But Bible prophecy is happening in front of us today at such a rapid pace. Right. I mean, we're sitting here this morning and we're watching China on the border with Hong Kong. We're, not, we're watching Donald Trump at war with CNN. We're watching America at war with Iran. We're watching Russia partner up with the Sudan. I mean, things that are in the Bible are happening in front of us at such a rapid pace. And we had this conversation yesterday where... We were looking for the Lord 25 years ago when we first met. Well, we're still looking for the Lord today, but you made an interesting comment to me. You said, Bob, you know, I believe the Lord 25 years ago could have come. He said, but it's nothing like the landscape of the world today. Right. We are literally on the brink of seeing the return of Jesus. Iran is in the news. Russia is in the news. Guess what? They just had an atomic explosion. A little accident. We don't know what they were testing, but whatever it was, it was atomic. Uh, we're drawing close, Bob, to the big one. And I think everybody has that feeling. And I think people want to be encouraged. That would include you. We all want to encourage each other. And that's what we're doing at Watchers Weekend. We're encouraging each other. Plus the fact uh, that, for example, I'm going to be talking about time travel in the Bible title of my book, which has been out for some time, Time Travelers of the Bible, and people say to me, well, why would you write about such a subject? I mean, that's not biblical. Time travel in the Bible? Bob, it's biblical. And not only that, it's prophetic. It gives you a little insight into how to interpret prophetic scripture. Because all of the prophets of the Bible, and talking about Moses and Elijah, for example, they occur here, they come back here, they come back here, they're going to make a future appearance. How did they do that? How does the Bible deal with time and space? And how does the Apostle Paul deal with time and space? And how does that help you understand Scripture? Well, that's what I'm going to be talking about, Bob. And usually in church you don't talk about these things. Well, you wrote that book five or six years ago, and you said to me just a few minutes ago, how many new things you've discovered yes. that could be in a second edition of the book because you've been learning over the past five or six years even more about the subject. I find it ironic that the Time Travelers book really launched our ministry. Uh, it's what set us up and put us in ministry, put us back on television. And I can't wait to hear your message at the conference because I know it's going to be even better, bigger and better than the book was. It'll have some things in it that uh, you haven't heard before, Bob. Exciting things. And speaking of exciting, our presenters are all uh, men with a message. And uh, there's no standing still at the pulpit when these guys get up to talk. Billy Crone, for example. We don't know what Billy's going to be talking about. No, I don't think Billy knows. But whatever it is, it's going to be spot on. It's going to be current events. It's going to be something you need to hear, right? You know, we have 14 speakers. And honestly, these men were selected really kind of for one reason. You know, the phrase in the Bible, encouraging one another as you see the day approaching. You know, we see the day approaching. Every one of these men has something unique to say. Yeah. Uh, every one of them has blessed me. So many of these people are close friends. 
And the bottom line is they have something to say that you're probably not going to hear anywhere else. Uh, the conference is going to run over two days. It's a Friday and Saturday. It's a little different from past conferences because, uh, as you may have surmised by now, Gary and I have been a little busy uh, rehabbing our new headquarters. Uh, but all of these men are bringing something to the table unique and different. And they're wonderful, emotional, encouraging. I always use the phrase cloud nine. I mean, to me, that's how we want people to leave the conference, like literally on cloud nine, encouraged by what's about to happen in the near future. It's not just the speakers, it's the atmosphere. And people coming from all over to share ideas. Uh, there's a spirit at a, at a prophecy conference unlike anything else. October 10th through 13th. Now, Bob, let's talk about uh, uh, how much space we have left. This is not going to be like the big prophecy conferences we've had in the past. And there's not much room. If, if I'll just speak frankly. And th that's part of the reason why we're here, <clears throat> to let you know that uh, if you're going to do something, you better do it now. Well, I'm a little surprised we have any tickets left at all. Right. Uh, what's interesting and unique about this conference is not just the speakers. On Sunday morning at 1030, we are going to be taking uh, the proverbial guided tour of our new headquarters. Uh, for the last month and a half, we have been working our fingers to the bone, ripping up carpet, replacing hot water heaters, moving boxes, uh, you name it. We have uh, been knee-deep in work. And the whole goal is on October 13th, that Sunday morning at 1030, uh, we're going to take the conference attendees, as many as can find their way to Oklahoma City, over to the building for a tour and a dedication to the new building. We want to dedicate this structure and what goes on in this building to the Lord. And that makes it really unique, doesn't it? It does indeed. Because we really feel we have a calling and we feel we have a purpose and uh, uh, the Lord would not have blessed us in the way that He has uh, unless He had something big for us to do want you to be a part of that something big. We want you to be uh, in prayer with us and we want you to understand uh, what the Lord uh, has given us as a, as a way, a, a, as a, a pathway, if you will, uh, of teaching and preaching for these last days. And so uh, you can be a part of it by coming to uh, that conference that's uh, October 10th through 13th and when you do you'll, I hope, feel like you're a part of what Bob and I are doing. Well, speaking about being a part of something, we've been friends with Brent Miller and his son, Brent Jr., for quite a few years now. You've probably seen a lot of their films, uh, the Final Prophecies DVD, you know, in my opinion, the best Bible prophecy DVD ever made, uh, the follow-up, The Coming Convergence. Well, for the last year and a half, Brent Jr. has been working on a new film uh, called Before the Wrath, and I just found out literally two weeks ago that Brent is willing to premiere the opening of the new film at our conference. And to me that was just really, really exciting. We've been anticipating the movie, certainly about the rapture of the church, certainly about the dark days coming upon the world. You're going to see the first premiere edition of that movie launched at Watchers Weekend. Absolutely. And it's going to be a professionally done uh, production uh, with uh, name actors, uh, uh, people you would recognize. And, and in other words, the possibility uh, is going to be presented that we are living at that very time, before the wrath. And it'll be presented in an emotional way, in a, in a way that, that drives home the point that we've all been talking about for so long that we're there, folks. Uh, there may not be much time. And, uh, and I, that's a great message to take back with you. You know, let's talk about a couple of the speakers who are going to be here. A lot of you may be familiar with them. You've seen them on our television program. My friend L.A. Marzulli is going to be with us. Uh, of course, L.A. is a new resident of Oklahoma, which I find really funny. Uh, I don't have to go to the airport and pick him up anymore. You know, he lives right here in my hometown. But L.A. has been traveling. Uh, after the fire that burned his home down and, and caused his move to Oklahoma, uh, he has had a little more freedom to uh, basically tour the world and work on some new films and new projects. Uh, he has stuff and pictures of things that when you see these things that are located in other parts of the world, uh, you're not going to laugh. You're just going to sit there open mouth like, why haven't I heard about this? Right. Why haven't I seen this? Where'd you get these pictures from? 
And by the way, that brings up a point. Uh, L.A. sort of cuts to the outer limit, if you will. Uh, some people say, say uh, maybe he's gone just a little too far this time. No, I don't think so. It's just that that's his gift. He uh, has an understanding, if you will, uh, of the dark world that is just beyond our eyesight and how it plays into Bible prophecy in the latter days. And I think God has given him that message. He has. Then you have a guy like Mark Hitchcock, local pastor right here in Edmond, Oklahoma. You know, Mark just wrote a new book about heavenly rewards. Yeah. And that's a subject that gets a lot of Christians excited and gets a lot of other Christians a little frightened. And uh, Mark is going to be with us at the conference. Jeff Kinley, yeah. another guy who literally can move you to tears. Uh, he's a guy who has a passion for people, passion for young people. Todd Hampson, Christian animator, Christian cartoonist. Todd is going to be with us teaching about the book of Revelation at the conference in a very simplistic way, a Prophecy 101 mm -hmm. guide. You know, a lot of people are totally confused by the book of Revelation. Yeah. So every speaker at the event has been chosen for a specific reason with a specific message that's Ryan, going to be emotional. Ryan Peterson. Uh, it's very strange. The first time we had Ryan, Ryan Peterson on uh, Prophecy Watchers, people absolutely uh, notified us of the fact that, hey, you've got to have this guy back again. Whatever it is, uh, the way he presents a message and the message itself uh, is, is thought-provoking and exciting. And I think if there's one person that people have said, I want to meet him, it's Ryan Peterson. He, was, he really was the hit of our last conference. He was. You know, our old familiar faces are going to be with us. Uh, Bill Salas, Bill Koenig. Yeah. Uh, you know, the newsmakers, you know, Washington, D.C. correspondents. Uh, by the time our conference comes in October, who knows where this world is going to be and what kind of condition we're going to find Bible prophecy in. And the last conference uh, we appeared at, Bob, was with Tom Hughes and a, and a group of people who were very, very exciting to be with. And Tom's going to be with us. Another stem winder. He is. Ken Johnson, the exact opposite end of the spectrum from Tom Hughes. Ken is going to get up there and he's going to thrill you in a different way. He's going to talk about a lot of the writings of the ancient church fathers, things that happened in the early days of Christianity that have kind of been swept under the rug today. A lot of these things are just starting to come out in Ken's research that are really fascinating. Absolutely. It's going to be great. And we're going to put a, uh, a, a number on the screen right now along with a, an address that, where you can register. And we want you to write it down. <laughs> put it on your schedule. This is going to be great. Uh, and there aren't too many places left for the Watchers Weekend, October 10th through 13th. Bob, anything else? Well, I might add that there's still some rooms left at the Embassy Suites Hotel. Uh, we just contracted for uh, some additional rooms at the Holiday Inn Express right across the street, which is like a 50-yard walk. Uh, you know, not a, not a difficult uh, journey at all over to the main uh, place. We're going to continue to open up rooms as they're needed. A lot of people have been asking about live streaming, video on demand. Uh, we have so many people who live abroad uh, who are, would love to come to a conference. The cost of it is just uh, you know, too extreme. Uh, we are going to have live streaming available. Uh, we'll be making that announcement here in the near future and uh, show you exactly how you can sign up. And if you're in Norway or Singapore or Cyprus or Germany or Japan or anywhere else, you're going to be able to be there and actually watch our conference uh, almost as good as being there. Bob, it's going to be great. Again, encouraging one another as we see the day approaching. And believe me, we see the day approaching. For years, Bob, we've been talking about uh, the soon coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And everybody says the same thing. I've been waiting, I've been watching for so long and, and can, I, can I keep my excitement level up? Well, yes, you can. And, and the way you do that is to fellowship with, with like-minded believers. And, and that's what we're all about. Amen. And fellowship with 14 wonderful speakers. You get to meet these guys face-to-face, -face, visit with them. You know, sometimes they even have a meal with the, uh, with the people in the audience. Imagine that. I'm Gary Stearman for Bob Ulrich, reminding you to attend the conference, October 10th through 13th. We're calling it Watchers Weekend, and we want to see you 
there. And in the meantime, may the Lord bless you all and keep watching, everybody. We are. <laughs>